Hey guys, it's Corey with 10 Best Ones. And today we've decided to review the five best options for you. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. Let's get started. If you're on a budget, then I'd recommend this next model since it's one of the best and cheapest out there. Number five, Microsoft Surface Go 2. As you may know, choosing a laptop could be a bit difficult. When choosing a laptop and you're a student, it's important to choose one that'll get you through countless hours of abuse and studies and occasional entertainment, of course. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 2 delivers amazing performance, great display, lengthy battery life, great keyboard and fantastic design. It's one of the lightest and most attractive laptops in the market and combined with its price, this is a must buy. For the student, it emphasizes style without losing function. All the laptops in this list are lookers, however the Microsoft Surface Laptop 2 is really cut from a different cloth, very beautiful and attractive. You get the standard array of ports, however it doesn't have a USB Type-C port. I was really impressed with Microsoft Surface Laptop 2's 13.5-inch LCD touchscreen. It uses the PixelSense technology that's present in all the Surface range and provides 2256 by 1504 resolution in 3 to 2 aspect ratio. It can achieve good brightness, decent black levels, and the colors are very neutral, a bit warm, but still pretty good. Performance-wise, the Microsoft Surface Laptop 2 is available in multiple specs. However, I'd opt for the 1.7 GHz Intel Core i5-8250U with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD to get the best balance between performance and price. But if you wish and require more power, you can opt for the Intel Core i7 model with bigger RAM and SSD. Combined with the excellent and spacious keyboard and trackpad, this laptop provides a beautiful package that'll suit every student. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number 4. Acer Swift 5 The Acer Swift 5 is an extremely light laptop and perfectly good ultra-portable that's fairly well-priced. It also offers a modern hardware and a good keyboard, but at the same time skims on some important aspects like the screen quality and battery size, which just shouldn't happen on a laptop of these magnitudes. Design-wise, where most premium laptops are made using aluminium, this shell is a magnesium alloy. Magnesium is stronger than aluminium, it's true, and it doesn't feel immediately as impressive, but it remains an excellent material for a laptop shell. Regarding connectivity, the Acer Swift 5 takes a more old-school approach that should please a lot of you. There are two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI port, a USB-C port, a USB 3.1 port and a headphone jack, all of which will help your device sync with smartphones, TV or other devices to fulfil your needs. When it comes to hardware, this laptop is powered by 8th generation Intel Core i5-8250U processor up to 3.4GHz. Storage comes via a 256GB SSD with 8GB of LPDDR3 memory, which I think is more than enough for any intended task you plan on doing with this laptop. It also packs for a display a 14-inch Full HD IPS touchscreen display with narrower border design combined with Acer Color Intelligence technology to give you vivid detail and vibrant colors at all angles. Moreover, this unit has great battery life, which can handle up to 8 hours with a single charge, a statistic that you can hardly find in other laptops. In my opinion, once you use this laptop, you'll see that for the price you pay, it's better than you'd expect. Overall, if you're after a highly portable laptop which doesn't skimp on performance, the Swift 5 is a solid choice. If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number 3. Lenovo Yoga C740 the Lenovo Yoga C740 offers solid performance with good battery life in a versatile frame for less than $1,000. Sleek is the first word that comes to mind with the C740. Its lovely sandblasted aluminium finish strikes a bold business pose. The iron grey lid is smooth to the touch and the glossy Yoga emblem in the top right corner of the lid adds a measured touch of bling that's just subtle enough for the boardroom. Opening the lid reveals a taut, well-laid-out design. You get more of that iron grey finish in the palm rest and keyboard deck. The keyboard sits at the top of the deck between a pair of speakers and above a large touchpad. The fingerprint scanner is located to the right of the touchpad, measuring just 12.7 by 8.5 by 0.7 inches and weighing 3.1 pounds. The C740 is slightly heavier and larger than the HP Spectre X360 13 at 2.7 pounds, 12.14 by 7.7 by 0.7 inches. 
In order to keep your documents, videos and other important files safe, Lenovo has added a few security measures. There's the fingerprint scanner, which is compatible with Windows Hello, that allows you to lock or unlock the laptop with your fingerprint. The company has also added a physical shutter button for the webcam to protect against potential snooping. You get a USB 3.1 Type-A Gen 1 port on the right side next to the power button. You'll find two USB 3.1 Type-C Gen 1 ports on the left side with a 1.6 GHz Intel Core i5-10210U processor, 8 GB of RAM, a 512 GB PCIe SSD and an Intel UHD graphics GPU. The C740 is a workhorse. It handles all your daily must-dos, including emails, YouTube breaks, document creating, editing and creative needs with aplomb. Overall, the Lenovo Yoga C740 is a great choice for consumers who don't want to compromise power and endurance by spending less. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Asus VivoBook S15 Asus has always managed to deliver one of the best laptops in the market, always delivering innovation and value for the price. One of my favorite laptops from its lineup is the Asus VivoBook S15. This one is a budget-focused device that delivers more than you would expect from it. It comes with some great overall specs, slim build, excellent playful design, and a nice display to wrap it up. Let's take a look at this budget laptop. This laptop is designed and manufactured for users that seek a nice and powerful enough laptop without spending the big bucks, and amazingly, it does that perfectly. I've tried a lot of budget laptops from the company's lineup, but the VivoBook S15 has definitely achieved the unachievable, making it one of the best affordable laptops in the market. Today, we're going to take a look at the value-based model, which comes equipped with an 8th generation Intel Core i5-8265U CPU with a boost clock speed of 3.4GHz, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD. It's packed with a 15.6-inch Full HD 1080p resolution wide-view panel with nano-edge bezels. One of the most notable features of this laptop is its ergo lift hinge that tilts the keyboard to 3.5 degrees for ergonomics, and the screen pad 2.0 that adds to the convenience. Upon unboxing, I saw I had a pretty aesthetically pleasing laptop in my hands. The performance specs of this device made it a powerful multitasking machine and I was pleased with its performance, but its battery life was a bit lacking as it shut down around the 8 hour mark, which is still pretty good. For those who are shopping in the budget range, this is one of the best options. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Lenovo ThinkPad T470 there are lighter business laptops and systems with more processing power, but the ThinkPad T470 offers the best balance between portability and usability in the market today. Whether you're a corporate IT manager, a worker bee in a cubicle, or just an individual who needs to get work done at home or school, you'll benefit a great deal from this 14-inch laptop's best-in-class keyboard, wide array of ports, and 17-plus hours of battery life. The ThinkPad T470 has the familiar but classy raven black rectangular ThinkPad aesthetic with one small twist. The lid, sides and bottom are all covered in a luxurious soft touch material that's a slightly darker shade of black than typical Lenovo ThinkPads and looks similar to the outside of the X1 Carbon. It's a shame that Lenovo apparently ran out of paint or money and didn't apply this material to the deck where it would have held really comfortable against my wrists. A Thunderbolt 3 port allows users to connect an entire universe of high-speed Thunderbolt and USB Type-C peripherals, including universal chargers and docking stations. While some notebook manufacturers use firmware that prevents their laptops from using a third-party USB Type-C charger, Lenovo works with any power brick but protects you from voltage surges with its anti-fry technology. We tested with an Energy Power Gear USB-C charger and the laptop worked flawlessly. The ThinkPad T470's 14-inch 1920 by 1080 non-touch display outputs sharp images with decent but unimpressive color quality and brightness. With its 7th Gen KB Lake Core i5-7200U CPU, 8GB of RAM and 256GB PCIe SSD, our review configuration of the ThinkPad T470 offers more than enough pop for serious productivity and heavy multitasking. The ThinkPad T470 offers the best combination of performance, durability, flexibility and endurance of any business laptop. Buying Guide Firstly, size. Before you look at specs or pricing, you need to figure out just how portable you need your laptop to be. Laptops are usually categorized by their display sizes. 11 to 12 inches, the thinnest and lighter systems around have 11 to 12 inch screens and typically weigh 2.5 to 3.5 pounds. 13 to 14 inches, 
This provides the best balance of portability and usability, particularly if you get a laptop that weighs under four pounds. 15 to 16 inches, the most popular size, 15 inch laptops usually weigh four to five and a half pounds. Consider this size if you want a larger screen and you're not planning to carry your notebook around often. Laptops with 16 inch displays are rare, but Apple might get the trend started with its 16 inch MacBook Pro. 17 to 18 inches. If your laptop stays on your desk all day, every day, a 17 or 18 inch system could provide you with the kind of processing power you need to play high end games or do workstation level productivity. Secondly, specs. Notebook components such as processor, hard drive, RAM, and graphics chip can confuse even notebook aficionados, so don't feel bad if your spec sheets look like alphabet soup to you. The brains of your computer, the processor, has a huge influence on performance, but depending on what you want to do, even the least expensive model may be good enough. Some sub $250 laptops come with only 4GB of RAM, but ideally you want at least 8GB on even a budget system and 16GB if you can spend just a little more. For most folks, 32GB or more is more than enough, while 64GB and above is reserved for power users. Even more important than the speed of your PC is the performance of your storage drive. If you can afford it and don't need a ton of internal storage, get a laptop with a solid state drive (SSD) rather than a hard drive because you'll see at least three times the speed and a much faster laptop overall. Thirdly, check that keyboard and touchpad. The most impressive specs in the world don't mean diddly if the laptop you're shopping for doesn't have good ergonomics. If you plan to do a lot of work on your computer, make sure the keyboard offers solid tactile feedback. Plenty of key travel, the distance the key goes down when pressed, usually one to two millimeters, and enough space between the keys. If you're buying a Windows laptop, be sure it has precision touchpad drivers. Look for an accurate touchpad that doesn't give you a jumpy cursor and responds consistently to multi-touch gestures such as pinch to zoom. If you're buying a business laptop, consider getting one with a pointing stick, aka nub, between the G and H keys, so you can navigate around the desktop without lifting your fingers off the keyboard's home row. And lastly, battery life. If you're buying a large bulky notebook or a gaming rig that you'll use only on a desk near an outlet, you don't have to worry about battery life. However, if you plan to use the laptop on your lap, even if it's at home and or work, you'll want at least seven hours of endurance, with eight plus hours being ideal. To determine a notebook's expected battery life, don't take the manufacturer's word for it. Instead, read third-party results from objective sources such as our reviews. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.